Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for March 5th through March 11th. This is a, generally my readings are love readings, but we will see what comes up. I am going to get you one of these oracle cards, get an overall energy. Angel of Love. Beautiful. Perhaps it's a week of love for you, Gemini. We'll find out. Maybe you're opening your heart. Ten of Cup, I mean Ten of Pentacles reversed. You could be there could be some family issues, which I know many of you've been having. You've been having some family issues. This could be children going away, children moving away. Or this could be you moving, okay? There could be some some kind of family issues. There you are. Yeah, there's some hurt here. There's some hurt. There's some hurt. It feels as though you may have felt like... Maybe you feel like you got to prove yourself to somebody. Is that it? Do you feel like you've got to prove yourself? Like you have to be right in this situation? You have to prove that you're right? That could certainly be the case. And it's causing some family conflicts. That you're... You know, this could be... Um, there's some, there's definitely some conflicts here this week, and I'm sorry, but there is. I mean, there, so far, it's a mental, 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 okay? And this is causing family feuds, all right? Something is happening um, that is very, could be abrasive, okay? And causing some hurt. But it feels like you have mental strength here. You have mental strength to endure this situation. <clears throat> But I think you're still trying to prove a point. You're trying to prove a point to somebody. And it's and it's really hurting you. It's really, really hurting you, the need to prove this point. Yeah, it feels, I mean, it feels to me like you have some somebody around you that is a liar <laughs> so you know you know you have somebody that's a liar that is around you and it feels like you're ready to rip the blindfold right off and expose them okay it's like yeah you you may be exposing some lies this week okay or somebody else may be exposing them to you it, you know that could certainly be happening it feels as though you know, there's some unexpected choices that are coming in. There's some unexpected choices, unexpected decisions. And you will have to pay the consequences of how you react because there's consequences here. There's consequences for your how you react. So just really think twice, okay? It appears that somebody is um, not believing in themselves. They're not... They're not... Uh, following their true path because they need to prove themselves okay this is a this is a thing where as would you rather be happy or would you rather be right okay because being right doesn't always bring happiness okay so that's this is kind of what i see here it's like 
there's some power struggles between two people. Okay. There's some power struggles. And I think that who's going to be right here? I'm right or you're right. And I, I know you're not right. I'm right. You know, those those kinds of things. No, nope, no. Nope, we're we're going to argue this out until you believe that I am the one that's right. You know, so I feel like this is a issue this week. And I'm just telling you what I see. So it appears that so there is a... Uh, there could definitely be some conflicts. We have a lot of swords here, okay? A lot. So, I mean, what? We got 10 cards, all right? One, two, three, four, five swords. So there's a lot of, five out of 10, half of them are swords. Mental energy, mental conflict, okay? This is something where you you have to you're blocking out something, absolutely, blocking out something and not accepting the truth, ignoring the truth of a situation, pretending, and I'm sorry, I really am sorry to tell you this, but it feels like somebody does not want to hear the truth, maybe, maybe because it hurts, the truth might hurt, okay, that, that could certainly be the case, or, you know, somebody is lying, and that's causing hurt. So it could go both, way, both ways, okay? There's some hurt being caused because of words. There's some hurtful words being said. And it's, it's, there's conflict going back between two people. That is, you know, both people want to be right. And, you know, whatever. That's a problem, okay? So I feel as though it's really time to be disciplined, to be disciplined, control your tongue, please try, just try, because there's going to be some consequences that fall out, that come about because of these words that are spoken hurtfully, just saying, okay, it appears that something is, some, something is going to come out that causes somebody perhaps to walk away could be a child you know a grown child could be a family member could be a partner okay there could be some something that's said that causes somebody to just leave walk away walk away for good i mean move out that kind of thing or not want to communicate with you anymore something like that either way uh, it appears that you are going to have an unexpected choice where you will have to live with the consequences of your decision. All right? So if you're single, we're going to change this up now. Yes, yeah, we got truth here and strength. <laughs> Wonderful. So it appears to me that <laughs> some truth is going to come out. And that's all there is to it. Some truth is going to come out. Could be in regards to a partnership, okay? Because we have that lover's card right next to you. I mean, yeah, right next to you. There could be uh, some truth that comes out in regards to a partnership. Now, this can be with a par uh, anybody, okay? There's this, this raw truth that's going to come out. And it's pointed right at you right at you. You may be the one that exposes this truth. Just saying. Okay. Or it could be this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. There's something that is going to happen that forces you to have strength. Okay. Forces you to have strength in this situation. Strength to not ignore it. You can't procrastinate any longer. Something's going to come out that makes you speak up. That's what it looks like. And it's going to hurt. It is going to hurt. But the thing is, is, you haven't been willing to take action as of yet. And that's why it's going to come out. Because this magician is reversed. This is you being not willing. Upright being willing. Not willing to take action. But this strength comes out. This truth comes out that forces you perhaps to take some action in some area you know, to stop procrastinating. There's some kind of dilemma here that has been hurting many people, more than just you. I think it in involves at least one or two more people that has been hurting some people involved and it can't be ignored anymore. You can't ignore it anymore because I feel like this truth is going to come out that forces 
action. Okay, and you are going to be called to um, be compassionate. Try your hardest to be compassionate. I know that you are the Queen of Swords and you can be a little brash, but you do have compassion in you. Please bring it out in this this uh, circumstance, okay? Because I feel like whoever you're dealing with, it, it's going to be a very emotional situation and you will be needing to um, act with love, okay? Act with love like she would do. Okay, I know, and she can be aggressive too. All the queens can be aggressive. There ain't no queen that can't be. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be aggression that comes out when this truth comes out. And you are going to be called to dig deep to find the compassion in this scenario. Because you may go right off the handle, alright? Because it feels like, you know, there's, there's no growth here. And there's no expansion where you're going, okay, with this, wherever you're at. There's, there's, where, where, whatever's been happening that has caused all this animosity and caused this feeling of I need to prove that you are wrong and I'm right, you know, whatever's been causing this is going nowhere. It's bringing everybody in the situation nowhere. Nowhere. It's not bringing growth to anybody involved. Okay? It's not. The only way to heal this situation is with love. Okay? So, I mean, that's, that's advice. You have to be practical here. You have to take the responsible approach. You do. If you I get very upset and the, the, the need to prove yourself isn't, isn't going to get anybody anywhere. Because whoever you're dealing with feels the need to prove themselves too. So this is a major, major conflict. Somebody has to take the, the wise approach. Somebody has to be responsible. Somebody has to be practical. Like this one. Somebody has to take the lead and walk away. Okay? That's what needs to happen. So I'm just telling you what I see. This is the, because right now there's no love. If somebody is not feeling loved, and sometimes silence says a lot. It does say a lot. Maybe if you let somebody think they're right, it could, it could change everything. I took a course once, how to deal with difficult people. And in that course, it said to let the other person think they won. And in this circumstances that I see, I really believe that's what you should do. It is an act of love. To let them, let them feel good. Let, because then they, they, will, they will start to feel better. And you know, that's you doing the right thing. Somebody has to do the right thing here. You know? Because right now, it's, it's a time to give and receive. Once you give, you will receive. And that's the truth. Give whoever this person is. Their, their right to believe whatever they want to believe. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Let, let it be. Just let it be. Because when you give... You will receive. You will. You will. Trust me, you will. I feel as though this is about give and take and, and equality and, and feeling like things aren't equal. And, and for things to be equal, you have to give. You're going to have to give. And I mean, I don't mean give something physically. I mean give. You're going to give. You have to give in. Give in. Can you do that, Miss Queen of Swords? Can you give in? Because if you don't, nothing new is going to happen. You're going to stay stuck. You're going to stay right where you're at. There's going to be no newness. There's going to be no, no changes. No expansion.
there's lack of inner strength here. Somebody has to find their inner strength to give in this situation. To find peace, harmony, and contentment within the relationship. Now, this could be the child, this could be with a lover, this could be with a family member, this could be at work, whatever. There's, if you want to have peace, harmony, and contentment in your life, you're going to have to give. In regards to this situation that you have been trying to prove a point on. It's no longer about the point and who's right. It's about peace and harmony. Right? We're going to read this card. Angel of Love. If you're still with me, that is. <laughs> Tender connections. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. If you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you. You have to act with tenderness. This is what this is about. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward. And the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward and the compassion that you demonstrate toward yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. You have to act with compassion and love. In this difficult situation that you are involved in. I see that you're involved in a difficult situation in which you want to prove a point or yourself to someone. It's not working out. Nobody's happy. And it's been going on for a while. And it's time to give so that you can bring peace, harmony, and contentment back to your life. To your soul. Within. So anyway, Gemini, that's what I have. If you're single, there could be a potential for a new partner coming in. Okay, unexpectedly. But if you're struggling like this, then it's probably not going to happen. Because when you're down like this, when I see these conflicts, they don't generally bring a new person into your life. Okay? So I feel as though this, that lover's card is really about consequences. Because that is, that is, the lover's card is consequences of your choice. There's consequences of the choices you make. That's what the lover's card means. So, are you happy with the consequences? Or do you want peace and harmony? Talk to you later.